I was wrong about Japanese 151 booster boxes. Well, sort of. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. So I made a video a while ago talking about uh, these boxes right here. So these are the Japanese 151 booster boxes. Um, a lot of people right now are still Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield. And I think uh, this was before that. It was the Japanese reprint. And then, anyways, people will be coming back to this eventually. But I did want to talk about the prices on this because I do think that this is intriguing because this price went up. So this is Sneaker Dunk. Um, this is a legit website. I've bought boxes of this product from there before. I had no problems. Um, some people were getting their orders canceled uh, about that time. I was in my video just to be upfront and to admit that I was wrong. We'll, we'll get to the sort of part, but I was saying that uh, I thought that this box price was going to drop even further when it was in the 50s. And we're just barely above the 50s right now. I thought we might touch in the 40s, possibly, considering that the MSRP on these boxes is like $38. So I was wrong because the strength of this has uh, definitely held. But where I kind of wasn't wrong, a lot of people said that after that uh, initial crash, that that was, that was the reprint. It was already there. It came early. Well, what we're seeing is there's lots of reports on Reddit uh, all over the place, right, of people that live in Japan or are visiting Japan, and these boxes are still popping up. Stores are still getting de uh, deliveries. Well, the uh, Pokemon centers, most of them are either removing the shrink wrap from the boxes or taking the packs completely out of the boxes to prevent scalping, uh, which makes sense. But what we're seeing is, like, just some just the other day, these stores are still getting boxes, so... This reprint window obviously is wider than we thought and could could continue. We're, we're getting towards the end of May. So that's where I say I kind of wasn't wrong because I didn't think that was the reprint before. That was people getting scared about the reprint and dumping their product. But I still think that this is going to be a great investment long term. Even if people are hoarding these boxes, this is an amazing set. So at this price... Uh, following some of my other advice as well, dollar cost averaging. If you guys have been dollar cost averaging, you guys are sitting really great. So $61, uh, obviously, when you buy these, um, there is like some fees and shipping. So this price is going to be a little bit more. We're probably going to be in the $70 range, which isn't bad. It depends. Obviously, you can see the, the prices here. But uh, let's look at eBay just so you guys can see what you can get these for on eBay. These were like last solds on eBay. 85 we got 120 crossed out, 97, so 80. Between 80 and 95, it kind of bounces. It's not as consistent on eBay. I think people are undercutting each other, um, which makes sense on prices there. I would be trying, if you can, watch Sneaker Dunk. If it drops more, that's kind of where I'm at uh, with it. If you can pick up some of these, like, factory sealed for, you know, 78 free shipping with the shrink wrap... Oh, this is no shrink wrap. Um, but if you can with the shrink wrap, um, but obviously that's why some of these are lower. Those are really great pickups as well. What I also want to talk about in this video is the English equivalent. Now, because this is a specialty set in English, we don't have the booster boxes, but a lot of people have been picking up these booster bundles, right? And this price has fluctuated quite a bit, but when it comes to English is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. There will be a reprint of this. Like, we can almost get... You can't guarantee anything. Nobody can guarantee. Nobody can guarantee that. But when you look at it, it's been so popular. Why would there not be a reprint? So keep in mind, if you're going to be picking up 151 English, to be smart about it. Don't spend all of your money right now. Try to dollar cost average. Um, maybe wait for the reprint. Okay? Because I'm... Crown Zenith got a reprint. It's going to get a reprint. It's a very popular set, okay? So, you know, these are going for in the 40 bucks right now um, on TCG Player. And I believe uh, some people have been picking these up. I think they're like 28. 28 bucks on, like, Walmart and stuff that keep getting them in stock. So if you can get this at MSRP, um, that's good. And then maybe when the reprint comes, we'll be able to get this below MSRP. Uh, also something that's popular that a lot of people have been picking up, which is more expensive, obviously, is these booster bundle case 
of sealed booster bundle bundle displays. So you can see the price here. We used to be able to get it for around twenty five hundred. Now it's up to twenty seven hundred, and it peaked at almost three thousand. Um, and one sold just for uh, not many sales of these on TCG Player. So I know that a lot of people are buying these at shows and stuff. So keep an eye out for the uh, the booster bundles. And then obviously there's the Elite Trainer Box, which it's going to be booster bundles and ETBs for this set. Because, I mean, realistically, you know, you have the poster collections and the other boxes and stuff, but those are going to be your main go tos. Uh, I was seeing these in stores a lot for like 50 bucks, which is MSRP not that long ago. And now we're in the 60s. So uh, we would, what you have to think about is the reprint again. So. I probably wouldn't be picking these up in the 60s currently. I would I would be waiting because even if they drop, even if they don't drop below MSRP, but they drop back down to 50, you're still at a good spot. So um, yeah, that's that's kind of it for uh, 151. What we can do real quick as well is for the English side, let's just take a look at the cards. I think let's see if there's been really any movement. I don't think there's been a ton, but let's just take a look. I know this, I think Charizard was dipping for a while. Let's just double check. Yeah, so Charizard had a big dip right here. Because I remember he dropped under 100 and then he cranked right back up. So yeah, one, 110, 116 uh, for Charizard. That was an interesting little little dip right there. Uh, we'll just take a look at some of the, these bigger cards here. Like the Blastoise. Same thing. He had a dip down to, I think there are were some sales that were below 40 and now he's back up to the mid to upper 40s which makes sense then we have the venusaur same thing we just saw a dip and he's back up into the low 40s although these last sales have been you know 47 45 so um a little higher i still love this artwork this is great this is underappreciated uh then there's the zapdos uh, which is seeing a little bit of an increase same thing. They all they all kind of took a little dip and a rise back up. So looks like Zapdos. We had one that sold at forty, but this card was in like the low thirties for a while. We have a few sales over forty, which is interesting. I think that this card is absolutely stunning. I pulled this card um, out of a booster bundle and just graded it. Got a ten. Anyways, uh, beautiful, absolutely stunning card. I don't know how this is not like a fifty dollar card. Um, it should be <laughs> in the future at least same with this venusaur at least and and the blastoise like that's like minimum i think but i kind of like the venusaur artwork the best out of the original three but anyways um that's pretty much going to do it i mean we could take a look at some of these other ones I, they're all doing about the same thing i know that this alakazam was down and now it's come back up a little yeah because i remember this being in the in the 20s and now it's low 30s low 30s high 20s so pretty much the same fluctuation we're seeing across all of the singles here which is to be expected they're all moving together and yeah so th so that would be uh that's gonna do it for this one guys uh i didn't want to make this too long but just want to talk about uh 151 english and japanese keep in mind we address the the japanese reprint keep in mind the english reprint just be smart about that don't be chasing uh, don't be chasing these highs right now, okay, for, for your sealed product. I would just wait. I would hold off on that. So um, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and remember, it was never a phase.